Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Rondo back here for another video and uh, before I begin my headset my other one got messed up So I'm pissed. I'm using a shittier one. I did get a new one, but it has to charge so um, I fucked up Okay, I should have gotten a headset that doesn't need to charge but I'm a dumbass Jubilee put out a video. I don't know how old or new this video is but it has something to do with strangers Reading people's deepest betrayals, which is fucking wild. It's probably gonna be some crazy shit said, so uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. My best friend tried to kill me with a vehicle. Okay, I wasn't lying. It, it was gonna be some crazy shit said already. Already, your their friend tried to kill them with a fucking. I car. was on life support for three weeks. I'm still trying to understand why she did it. She ruined my life, and she only got five years probation. <laughs> That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. What's crazy to me is the fact that that was your best friend. She tried to run you over with a car. And she only got five years of probation and she ruined your life. The fact that things like this happen and nothing is really done much about it. Like if this guy doesn't or isn't taken care of for the rest of his life. Like in terms of like costs, medical bills, stuff like that. Like I don't know. Like that, that just sucks. I took $100 from my dad's wallet. He found out and confronted me and my brother. I Damn. quickly put the money in my brother's drawer. Damn. My dad found it and kicked him out of the house. Wow! So, okay, this is not about their betrayals to them. It could also be them betraying somebody. Dude, that's dirty, bro. <laughs> this man did his brother dirty, bro. He got, his, he got his brother kicked out the fucking house. Dude, that's some fucked up shit, man. I'm guessing they must have been like teenagers for them to get kicked out or for one of them to get kicked out. Because if it's like a little kid, you know what I mean, like... Kids make those mistakes, you don't really need to kick them out, but, I mean, it was only a hundred bucks. But even then, like, you don't know what the situation they could have been in, but that's fucking wild. That was a year ago, and we haven't heard much since. He won't answer my calls or texts. Yeah, he's never gonna oh, talk to him man. again. My friend committed suicide last year, and I was the last person he tried calling. If I took the time and answered, he might still be here today. Yo, oh my god. Alright, I didn't know it was gonna be like this fucking deep. This is going pretty deep. No cap. This is this is deep as shit. That's tough. That is tough. This person is gonna beat up on themselves for the rest of their lives. Had they just answered that one phone call. You never know, it's life. You no. Know, it, all it takes is one phone call, you know, to you miss. Something could happen. You never know. You really, really never know. But shit, you can't beat yourself up about that, but it looks like this person might be depressed about it. My little brother knocked his bowl of ramen while watching TV. My father blamed it, it on me. And after I tried explaining myself, he started slapping me until my glasses fell on the floor and broke. Aww, my mother and my brother abuse. did nothing. Later, my mom said, if people ask how you broke your glasses, tell them it was because you fell on the ground. Yeah, that's child abuse, bro. That's. I kept the fact that my dad was cheating on my mom with another woman. That's crazy. I should be a lot more mad at my dad. But for some reason, I'm so guilt-ridden and anger at myself for hurting the most important person in my life. Mm. I feel like whatever I do, I can't make it up to my mom. That's crazy. It's a lot more difficult of a decision, I think, than people may realize. Maybe she sees that and they divorce and it tears apart your whole family. It, it could, and Maybe yeah. she doesn't believe it at all. And then you just become the, the bad guy. First, I was not believed about That's tough. my father getting involved with the lady and speaking about it helped cause a lot of drama in my family but you shouldn't feel guilty Shit. and you always have to remember that you can't blame yourself for things that other people are doing yeah this video can teach hundreds of lessons for sure man like you you really got to think you know deep into you know the actions that you could take. Always think before you do something, especially something hugely like a big decision. I was outed as a lesbian by one of my closest friends to teachers at my Catholic school. Oh, that's dirty. I was kicked out of that school in the middle of my eighth grade year. <laughs> Yo, some people do the dumbest shit, bro. They just be throwing other people under the bus. Like that kid uh, putting the hundred dollars in his brother's drawer. You threw that man under the bus. Of course, he's never gonna call you again. A few years ago, and every day it feels like my memories of her get blurrier. I feel guilty and mad at myself for forgetting her. Oh, that's it? That's... I don't think that's a betrayer. I, f I feel like some of these aren't really a betrayal. It's more of a guilt of not doing something. You know what I mean? I guess that letter is just 
a woman or somebody forgetting uh, their mom has passed like what months ago years ago right and the uh, thoughts and memories get blurrier but that's because you're getting older and uh, I guess I guess there is guilt in that because you know slowly those memories are fading away and you continue on with your life but what, what can you do you can remember you know all those great memories you had if you're slowly forgetting well honestly i have no idea to, i have no idea what to say about that to be honest child i was taken advantage of sexually by multiple men in my family that is not okay at age 15 that when a school counselor okay. heard about a specific uncle touching me she called the police and my mother what hurt the most was when my mother was angry at me instead I became Hell disowned nah. in my own home for years. That's now nah, that is beyond fucked up. That is a huge, huge, huge betrayal, bro. That is beyond fucked. That is disgusting. I'm actually disgusted right now. I actually want to punch my monitor right now. Holy shit! Like imagine your own mother just just stabbing you in the back, just not caring. You know that a family member has done that kind of thing to you. If if I were that person, I would just completely cut off everybody look blood is thicker than water as they say you know family is important to be honest nothing is more important than your own safety you know than your own self-love than your individual self okay and i feel it's it's important for everybody to care for themselves okay as much as you want to care for somebody else and put somebody else before you you know what i mean obviously there's different circumstances and situations but in this person's situation care about yourself love yourself cut all that cut everybody off that whole family's a fucking that is disgusting i can't believe i, I actually had to hear that that is sad it's especially hard oh, i thought she wasn't gonna say anything you don't want to talk <laughs> so about shocked. it and you don't want anybody to find out because you have no idea what's gonna happen that's crazy and then you finally get the courage to say something and it just ends up horrible i'm sorry i understand and it does help to talk about it having people around you that support you and that you can trust is very important. Even talking to someone about things like a therapist, it helps. That'll do. Even though for sure. it seems like it won't. At some point, it's going to get better. Yeah. Just gotta keep holding on. I tried to kill myself the same night after me and my mother fought. She a little shit about I cry. went to my school to ask for help. My mother was more mad at me for getting help than the fact that I tried to end my life. That's crazy. Uh, she must have had an experience with this. This, this video is getting heavy, bro. This video is getting heavy. I don't know if I can go through with this shit, to be honest. When I came out to my parents as gay, they told me to keep my mouth shut and not tell anyone because it could ruin the family name. Okay, that's fucked up. And second, they got a gay guy to read a gay letter. Because, uh, uh, yeah, they, they were smart to do that because this guy... Uh, Look, I'm, I'm assuming, this is a bad idea that I'm already assuming, but I'm pretty sure he is uh, of the LGBTQ community. Anyways, um, he's probably going to relate his own experience, but uh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, okay? Imagine your own family telling you that because they can't accept you for who you are, you know, as a person. You know what I mean? That's, that's tough. They chose reputation over their own child's happiness. Crazy, right? So... Because of my background, I am Nigerian. And then coming from a culture that doesn't just not celebrate it, but discourages it can be especially difficult. <sighs> the best thing is to find your chosen family, to find people that will support you and love you unconditionally. Because, you know, you have to navigate this crazy world with people on your side. Uh, yeah. It's unfortunate if it can't be your bloodline, but there are people you should know that will support you. Like you really got to pay attention to who you bring into your life, the type of people they're around as well. Someone who's your friend, really, and someone who looks out for you. We, look, we learned so many lessons in this one video. Uh, I didn't even mean for this shit to be so fucking educational or so good. I was just trying to crack some jokes, but I think I only hit one or two really shitty jokes. But, um, yeah, nah, I feel like one of the most important things that we can get from this video is individualism is very important. You know, looking after yourself, you know, being you, staying true to yourself, and uh, obviously having the right people around you to support you for who you are is definitely important. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a nice video, uh, lessons, you know, that people can learn from. I guess I'm sorry for being a D-bag. I mean, I was going into this video hoping, ho hoping I could get some, some good laughable content out of this. And instead, we got a uh, college course on life. Um, I, ho I hope that schooled some of you guys. 
So for anybody going through stuff right now, it'll get better. You just gotta, you gotta trust in yourself and trust in the process of, I guess, bettering yourself or being who you are and finding the right people. Betrayal is probably the worst emotion you could feel after guilt. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Social media might be extremely toxic, but sometimes it understands you more than your family. I feel like social media has like a flip side to it. There's obviously the toxic side and then there's a the good side. And I feel like that goes with anything in life, you know? Um, you know, just how somebody can, you know, smoke a lot of weed, you know, not do anything with their life, sit on a couch. Or they could be very active, good people in the community and uh, just smoke weed because they have pain in their fucking joints. You know, everything has a good and a bad to it. It's all about how you use it. This is how religion can be used for good and how religion can be used for bad. Even though it's meant to symbolize good, I swear to God, there's, you know, religion that's, you know, used for bad. It shocks me that people can be this heartless and cruel. That's fucking wild. I, I don't even, I don't even understand. Alright, well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.